I'm Susan, VP of Marketing, Business Development and Customer Experience of SPTEL. Thank you so much for all of you to join us today in our Homegrown with Digital Age Leadership Sharing Series. Today, we're very glad to have Mr. Sean Ko, uh, the founder of IoT Works with us today. And he'll be sharing with us how IoT can lead to improve efficiency as well as cost saving in healthcare industry in Singapore. Thank you for joining us, Sean. So maybe you would like to share a little bit about yourself? I am the founder of IoT Works and also a trainer in IoT. Right, before we begin, could you give us a little bit of background on IoT Works? Yep, sure. Uh, IoT Works is a multi-dimensional solution provider that solves real problem. We deal a lot with the healthcare sector where we provide IoT solution and we partner with companies like Espital you know, to, to provide the connectivity. Could you share a little bit more with us on some of the key IoT trends or technologies to look out for in the healthcare industry? So basically, there are three areas that we can think of. The first area is uh, the wearables, where the uh, patients with wearables, they, they are consistently being tracked by the, the devices on their uh, vital stats. Uh, and these are all the non-intrusive ways of collecting data so that when they visit the doctors, the doctors can immediately pull out the data and, and know what's happening. And then the second area is the uh, asset management, okay, which, which currently a lot of people are looking at how they can uh, more easily find their equipments. So in the hospital, for, for, take for example, nurses could easily, easily get a wheelchair or even you know, get some of the medical devices when they really need it. Mm. And the third, the third area is the environment uh, monitoring and sensing part, where we can have uh, temperature and humidity monitoring devices, uh, and of course, things like people, people counter. By any chance, would you be able to share with us any successful instances where such technology has benefited an organisation? Take for example, solutions like the wheelchair tracking system for a hospital. Patients come to the hospital, they will need to have wheelchairs. So this patient associate is responsible for the wheelchairs. And let's say if there are no wheelchairs, they will use this wheelchair tracking systems to go and look for the wheelchairs. In the lobby of the of the hospital car parks, usually there won't be any person you know, looking at whether there are uh, wheelchairs availability. So now with the systems, when the wheelchair base have uh, are left with only one or no wheelchairs, the system will automatically alert the staff to go and bring the wheelchairs there. The second is the environment monitoring. Okay, we we have actually implemented uh, things like temperature and monitoring uh, sensors in a medical center and especially in these medical centers they contain medical supplies and med medical supplies are very uh, sensitive okay to changes in temperature and humidity and also our government is actually our authorities are also very uh, particular where these medical centers need to keep a track records of the temperature and humidity where these uh, medications are being stored so uh, the, the before we implement the system, what happens is that the staff will every 15 minutes go into the room, look at the analog thermometer, then write down and then eventually put on the Excel spreadsheet and show the graph. So after we implemented the systems, it actually automatically send all the data to a central point where now data are being collected and then it's being processed and you know we have thresholds also to monitor if the if they cross the threshold do they need to you know look, look into it because it's the room is too hot or the humidity is too high for medications so with all these implementations now even the the reporting is easier. It sounds to me in the healthcare environment uh, there's a lot of uh, use cases sensors mm -hmm. that talk in different protocol and even like OEM solutions. So what is your take? Yes, you, you're right on that. Basically, in the healthcare organizations from so far from what we see, they will usually go for OEM solutions. And OEM solutions come with their own platform, their own cloud subscription, which the user will have to subscribe. But at the end of the day, they will be stuck because they can't integrate the next vendor that comes in will say, hey, this is not something I can do. So I will propose a new solution again. That's why it ends up with so many OEM solutions in, in one location. So what we really need to look at 
is a proper model where things like IoT as a service, like what SPTEL has here. At the same time, being an integrator and a solution provider, we will just use the IoT as a service, we build on top of it, or, or we build at the back of it. And that, that will also allow us to you know, uh, engage more customers mm. because we, now we can do the deployment faster. So usually when we do deployment, take for example again like the wheelchair projects, okay, when we want to deploy these routers, because we need to mesh the network up, from one point to the next point, is there a PowerPoint for you? Okay, when there's no PowerPoint, then you have to look at it. Oh, this is outdoor, indoor. If outdoor, then oh, don't know what to do. What, what, what can you be, be done? Do I need to build another shelter for the PowerPoint? So, so these are all the environment challenges that we face, especially on PowerPoint, because the infrastructure-wise infrastructure can be quite costly. On the other hand, uh, is the connectivity. Uh, where just, where, you know, connectivity-wise, if it's outdoor, Wi-Fi is unlikely the, the case. Then, then the question is, oh, do I want to use LoRa? You see, then all these things, if you put together, will mean that healthcare solution does not only involve one kind of wireless connectivity. It involves multiple connectivity. You want to do it at large scales. So all this put together will also means that we also need to involve the parties. We need to involve partners, partners like SP Town that can come in for the connectivity part, especially like the LoRa, you know, and all this. We have these routers uh, deployed across the whole hospitals where it forms a, a mesh networks in the hospitals. And with these mesh networks, we are able to do course localization of where the wheelchairs are in the hospitals. So when they push the wheelchair to, from one place to the next place, the nearest routers will pick, will pick up the wheelchairs and tell the system the wheelchair is with me. And then this will be, we'll put a counter there on the dashboard and we provide these dashboards to the staff of the hospital where they will be able to, on one look, they will know which locations, what are the numbers of these wheelchairs. In your view, what is the importance of IoT in the various opportunities opened up by the future of smart city, smart nation? Now we, we are saying you know, smart, smart parking, smart car parks, smart gardens. We do see uh, things like vertical farming coming into place. Uh, these are all opportunities. We also see that you know uh, current building management systems, which are all the wired stuff, PLC, uh, programmable logic controllers, PLCs, they are also trying to move into IoT-based solutions because only with IoT, you probably can do a retrofit on existing building. At the same time, if you build new, you can also have it fully connected wirelessly. There's so many possibilities. There is definitely a lot that we can do. Then the key thing is, where should we focus? Definitely IoT works has, has, has come to uh, an understanding that you know these, that these are the areas and that's why partners is the most important thing that we work with. Now I can, I can focus on sen uh, sensor development uh, as well as uh, you know, the data analytics part, data visualization part by leveraging on the partners for connectivity, for platform, on their platform and as well as on their edge cloud. Right, thank you so much. This is a very interesting conversation that we had. Thank you so much. Yep, welcome. Thanks. Thanks, Susan. Thank you, yeah. Sean.